वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई विश यू ऑल ए वेरी वेरी हैप्पी दिवाली एंड थैंक यू सो 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 मच फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माई चैनल एंड इफ यू आर ए न्यू व्यूअर देन प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब just in span of four month we crossed 40000 subscribers and that is beyond the world for me and i cannot explain that thing in words i'm so much glad to you people i'm so much thankful for showing that much of love and trust on me i'm like i cannot explain that thing in word and tomorrow is diwali and you will be watching this video by tomorrow i know today i'm filming it and so today's video is all about how to make your makeup long lasting so if you are interested then keep on watching now the first and the foremost thing is to identify your skin type and then to work upon your makeup because for example the makeup products that are going to be good for a dry skin person is not going to work that well for a person who is having oily to combinational skin so first of all identify your skin type then select out the correct makeup product for yourself for example if you have a oily skin type oops that's crackers okay if you have oily skin type then don't forget to start up your makeup by priming your skin first then to jump up on the skin care or the other stuff or even to directly go for foundation but first of all you have to work upon your primer because then only your makeup is going to be sweat proof or is not going to come up or wash away so now the second thing is that if you are somebody with normal to dry skin then you have to select out a moisturizer or even a primer which is good for your skin type and which is going to work well for your skin now the first thing that i want to say when it comes to select your makeup product the person with oily skin or combinational skin must try out the products which are powdery in texture and the people those who have normal to dry skin must go with the products those are creamy in texture the second most important thing is to select out your product and not to experiment on the big days for example if you are preparing for a big ceremony or a big function or a festive day then please do not try out the first impression thing on that individual day work on your confidence and work upon your strength practice okay work upon your strength and work upon your confidence because if you are going to try a new foundation on a big fat wedding day or maybe on a ceremony or even on the first date then you never know that that foundation is going to work well for you or not so in that way i'm going to say that if you are confident on a product then only try those individual products on those individual days else do not try a new product on a big or a important day for example if you are for the first time you are just going up on a date you have planned a lot for that and you have you know just tried out a new foundation on that day maybe that foundation is not that good for your skin but you will realize that by the evening or you know like when you come back home so that is not a good thing do not try out new makeup products on very important days try them out on a regular day and then if that suits you then only try them on important days now the next most important thing is not to layer up your makeup for example if you want your makeup to last long or the whole day long or even for 12 hours then the most important thing that you have to keep in your mind is that you are not wearing five or six layers of makeup now obviously the first question you are going to ask me is that what to do if i have acne or pimple issues or what to do if i have discoloration or dark circles in that case i'm going to tell you that work on color correction or even you know the concealers and those things because that is something that is going to help you out with a very little amount of product you can cover up those things you don't really need 5 to 6 layers of foundation in that way your makeup is not going to crease up easily if you are using color correctors other than that if you are using 5 to 6 layers of makeup then i'm damn sure with a very good makeup setting spray also your makeup is not going to stay for 12 to 15 long hours so that is how the makeup products work 
Now the next important thing is to try out the products that you are comfortable in. For example, if you are somebody who wear kajal on a day-to-day -day life and suddenly just because a YouTuber is creating a Diwali makeup look or a wedding makeup look which doesn't have that kajal thing or they are trying out green or black eyeshadow which you are not comfortable in, then please do not try out that because work upon your strength that is going to give you the best results because for example I do have an eye stay or a tumor kind of something there so if I wear a huge amount of highlighter here in the inner corners of my eye then definitely that is going to pop up really well so you have to identify the basic minor things that works really well for you not in an average or not which is you know like for everybody do not categorize the makeup for everybody or yes that person have shown that or that makeup look was looking good on her skin so that obviously that is going to look good on me so it is not like that identify the products or you know the lipstick shades the eyeliner technique or what is looking good on you try up those individual things only on those special days because if you are confident then only the makeup is going to stay else if you are nervous then definitely you are going to sweat extra and obviously your makeup is just going to melt away so that is one more tip that you can try out now the next tip is everybody wants to look different on a very special day so if you want to look different then do not try up something which you are not comfortable in again the same point for example if you are somebody who doesn't wear that much amount of makeup on a day-to-day -day life and just because you want to look very special and different do not try up you know huge amount of makeup just on a single day which you are not comfortable in because then you will be somebody who will be continuously searching up for a mirror to figure out that how it is looking on you in that way you will be making it a complete mess now the last and the final thing is try out something which is not that perfect by that I mean for example if you are making a hair burn for a that special day when you are going to wear that for 12 to 15 hours in that time do not wear a makeup or do not make a hair burn which is just perfect try to make a hair burn which is already messy so by three to four hours if you again mess up that so it is not going to look like yes something is wrong or something happened to that hair bun it is still going to look perfect because it was already a messy hair bun so by that I mean if on a day when you are not confident that yes my makeup is going to stay or not I don't know it is going to work out for me or not that in that time try to make smoky eyes and those things do not go with a straight eyeliner because by chance if that is creased out then it is going to be completely visible where is a smoky eye if something happens to that or if the makeup is destroyed by 20 to 30 percent also it is not going to pop up that clearly or if you sweat also it is not going to pop up that clearly so this is something that you can try out on the days when you want to look extra special so before I end this video I want to mention something that makeup doesn't have any kind of set rules and boundaries try out something which you like because after all it's your life and it's your face you are somebody who is going to decide out what you are going to wear and what you are going to put on your face. These are something which I feel is going to work well if you are a beginner. So this was today's video. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos. Take care of yourself. Celebrate a very happy Diwali. Bye-bye.